Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Hey! And um, yeah, we're going south for the first time ever on this trip, I think. Yeah, I think we've just done lots of north. We might have gone south on Wiggly Roads, but that is literally yeah, about it. Yeah, we're going it. south and east, weren't yes. we? Whereas now we're just going south. South. Uh, the temperature over the last couple of days has been about zero to one and then dip into the minuses overnight. Yes. The forecast for the next week is snow. Yeah, and not just the yellow snow that sh shows up on the radar, but red snow. Red snow, which is like proper blizzardy nasty. kind of thing. So yeah, let's go see. What do we think of Finland? Finland. Finland. Oh, if I was in Finland, uh -oh. I need to go to Finland because <laughs> the food's too good. <laughs> I'm staying in Fatland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Morning folks, and uh, today is uh, a laundry day. Uh, we're in Finland, as I said, we're uh, heading South Finland now. And in Sweden, we couldn't find any outside laundry services. So it seems that each of these Scandinavian countries got their own little idiosyncrasies. For example, Finland has got no LPG, and Sweden had no outside laundry. So we filled up in Sweden with LPG, even though we didn't need it. I think it was about three quid, something like that. And now we're gonna get some laundry done because we can and because we smell. Well, cause, no, because we've got no clean undies <laughs> left. It's very important. So, yep, yeah, um, we're somewhere near, what did we say it was yesterday? Ulu. Ulu. Which yeah. is um, O U L U. -U yeah. And we're currently in a little town called Lai, L I, or I I. I have no idea. And one thing I've found is. Oh, you're hiding behind me, there you go. One thing I have found is they like to double up on letters just to really confuse you. So yeah. every town name's got two N's or two P's or two I's or two O's. Oh, lots of A's. Lots of so A's. Well, with five A's in the other day. Yeah, there we go. Right, we all ready then? As ready as we'll ever be. Cool, let's uh, pack the van and go. <laughs> This is the washing that you get in Finland, and this is absolutely amazing. This is inside a shopping centre, so we've got washers and dryers, and that's my stuff going around there. Yay! So, uh, 
yeah, you get a good choice. Small, medium and large washers. There's some rug washers and dog washers over in the back there. This here is a carpet rug washer. So you put your rug in there and then it comes out all clean and dry literally to put back on the floor again according to all the things. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed. So far it's cost me 16 euros for one of the massive washers and now everything is in the dryer for 30 minutes. Um, that seems to be the standard four euro uh, price for it. So yeah, absolutely can't complain. This is, um, this is really good and it's inside a shopping centre so I managed to do my washing and then get some shopping done and I've got the drying in and I've got some post to send back to the UK so I'm going to go and sort that out because there's a little posty box next door. Yay. Good morning folks and I think this is the first time in probably about two weeks that I've come out in the van in the morning and um, I can see blue sky and the sun <sighs> so miss that it's still cold we have jumped down sort of midway down Finland now um, and the temperatures got above freezing so that's helped but it's still been really bad rain so much so they've really not been filming that much but yeah, little spot we're at now. Got little changing rooms in the background there. And then a little beach there. It's not bad, is it? And then behind me here, we've got some toilets. They are dry toilets. Um, so just drop nothing like mains, um, sewage or anything like that in the whole of Scandinavia from what we've seen out in these spots. not a bad way to wake up in the morning is it <laughs> but yeah we're finding um, Scandinavia really does look after um, campers they're not sort of designed for campers at all um, but they don't mind you using these spots they're kind of day spots for people that want to go fishing or swimming um, uh, so there's toilets changing rooms usually a bin and usually somewhere nice to park up like that so really can't argue with that at all it just has made our lives so much easier to know that we can just come to spots literally guaranteed to be perfectly okay to park at see this i know it's my face it's sunshine oh we've not seen it for a couple of days johnny's off out taking pictures and talking to the camera i think he's down that little path there instead of doing the morning things that we do in the van and that might be because we've got no food because it's in the boot but it's good but look after my little whinge look at this for a view to wake up to that's all right isn't it that is um utterly beautiful can't beat scandinavia for park ups like this and views like this and absolutely unpredictable weather you'd think growing up in the uk would be used to that by now 
<laughs> it's got nothing. It's like Scandinavians going, hold my beer. I'll show you how to do unpredictable weather. <laughs> oh look, it's YouTuber Inception. <laughs> Wonder what he's saying about me? Anything good? Can't hear me telling him to go get some stuff out of the boot though, can he? Nope, because he's walking off again. <laughs> I have got keys. I can do it myself. Um, but yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. Love Scandinavia. Just love it. So, uh, I love him too. Love it. And, I love him too. He's like, where's my breakfast, Mum? So we've got one more stop left before we get to Helsinki. And then Helsinki is the ferry to Tallinn which is in Estonia. So that's probably going to be our first real border crossing in all fairness. Because so far, although we've crossed borders, we've not been stopped um, and we've only really seen one border that was manned and that was the border going into Denmark. So yeah, we shall experience probably our first border crossing. Well, you know, apart from going into France but after that, um, from being in Europe, we'll probably experience our first border crossing um, sometime, what is this, today is Monday, Tuesday Helsinki, so Wednesday morning we'll probably be uh, getting on the ferry. Can't wait actually. Obviously it's uh, still adding countries to our list that we've never been to before. Different experiences, that's what it's called an expedition for really, because we're going out there and experiencing things for the first time, experiencing countries for the first time. Um, and all this kind of uh, is going to help out in future travels deciding if you like certain areas to go to we can go to the area for longer so for example um, by now you'd have seen how fantastic Norway is so probably going to do another three months in Norway because that is just epic I cannot put in words how amazingly stunning that place is uh, another three months in Sweden as well for the same reason because it's just totally stunning so yeah, lots of future travel plans are going to be formed from this trip we're going on this time. And obviously we're only one month in, got another eight months to go. So can't wait to see where we're going to end up and what we're going to see next. the king or not mm. these burgers are very nice we do keep trying different burger joints so it's only fair that we try this one although there is a big bacon one there you go you see the big bacon it's a big bacon or challenge the king same price it's got to be a challenge the king oh look at that bad boy four burgers four burgers Amazing chippies. What have you got? You I've got, got big bacon burger and it's got oh, oh, bacon, burger, mm. egg, bacon, burger. Pretty good. Yes. Alex has got the same. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. But he's got more things on the me. I've gone yeah, for Alex the. Alex got it adapted, it comes off the menu. Yeah, I've gone for the caveman style, but yeah. So far, very good. Yes. Well, it nearly killed me, but that was a lovely burger. Alex um, demolished it. Absolutely, in seconds. Oh. Your burger okay? It was beautiful. It was, um, considering we've eaten at the largest burger restaurant in Finland and the smallest burger mm. restaurant in Finland, the smallest one is definitely better quality, I think, which is rolls. I was going to say, 
We've had three Scandinavian burgers. Mm. Max burger. Oh yeah. Hesse. And now rolls. Mm. I would say rolls. Absolutely. Champion. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely beats the pants off everything else. Mm. Right, I need a nap now. <laughs> That's a lot of food. You've got two more hours of driving yet, honey. Oh. You up for a bit of driving? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've just eaten a big meal as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get to it then. Yep. folks been a bit of a busy morning this morning and we got to the park up last night it was um a bit worrying i don't know if you remember about a year and a half ago we had a problem with the step kept leaking water um so we'd come in the morning and find that the step was like a swimming pool but when we got here yesterday it wasn't like a swimming pool but it was certainly wet properly wet um so yeah spent about an hour and a half last night stripping all the door down the step out the door frame from the inside, everything like that to try and find out what the problem is. Um, but then heavens opened, sod's so law. So uh, really couldn't do a lot last night. So uh, this morning I found out there's a bit of a sealant that's missing. They obviously didn't put it on or it's come off, something like that. So I've resealed all the way around the uh, seat of the door. So I've picked my fishing spot for this morning. John's tinkering as usual. Um, and uh, I found a brilliant fishing shop yesterday, like absolutely blown away. And thankfully Daz has been helping me out with what I need to get because I've been doing lots of fishing and not a lot of catching. So I've got myself a few new little gizmos to try out, which will be good. And look at this where I get to try. Look at that, it's like glass. You can see the fish every now and again. There's like little flips and things and, and you can see them just popping up and making little circles in the, uh, in the water. So, uh, Gonna give me new lows a go. A little bit of blue sky there. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. It's better. Yeah. So this was sopping wet through. Underneath there was like a swimming pool. So I've taken all this off, this off, all the frame off, and then cleaned it all. This came off. All the door surround came off. Got underneath. Found out possibly where. The water spray from the wheels or whatever is tracking down. That's all I can imagine. I found a little spot underneath there that had no seal. So I've sealed it all up from the inside and the outside. Reassembled it all. And hopefully that'll be the end of that saga. Today is a two hour drive from a little town we're at. You may know this town we're at right now. It's a little town called Nokia. <laughs> I just saw it on a map and I'm like, oh, we've got to stay there. Got to stay in Nokia. Who hasn't had a Nokia phone in their life? Oh, by the way, if you haven't, you've not lived. It's a bit like saying you're a car enthusiast when you've not had a Fiat or an Alfa Romeo. A decent Fiat, by the way. You know, like a Mifiori or something like that. Anyhow, I digress. Yes, we're off to Helsinki today.
Helsinki provides a dog park. Welcomen to Hund Parken. That's a Hund. He knows where he's going. And they've got two different areas. They've got one there for big dogs and one there for small dogs. And they give you a speed in a bin. So you don't have to worry about bags or anything. What's this? Cupy. What's this? What's this? Ready? Go find it. Because I forgot his ball. Because I'm a nice mummy like that and I knew I was coming here. So yeah. How cool is this? So properly enclosed. Oh, there's another doggy coming along. Loads of bits of wood and stuff. Lovely soft ground. Buzzing. So we're currently on a uh, pub crawl. Pub crawl. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. Um, in um, Helsinki. Helsinki. We're gonna sinky. Gonna sinky Helsinki. <laughs> um, it's quite expensive though. Yes. There is, there is that Each to consider. Each drink is about <laughs> nine euros, nine, yeah. nine, ten euros. So yeah. It was nine euros for a bottle of salt. Yeah, so we're slowly doing a pub crawl. Yes. Well now, more importantly, we're going to a brewery. In an old gas building. Well, we've made it. Very industrial kind of area, industrious type area. Mandy's just going to check inside because I've got Coop with us. See if <laughs> we can bring our dog on the uh, pub tour. Look at him, he's raring to go. Come on, Dad, pub. Pub. Cooper, pub. Pub. Yeah, pub. <laughs> Loves the pub. So, as you can imagine, I've gone for a cider. Bear in mind, this is all brewed here in the pub, in there, in the brewery. Really, not the pub. This is not a pub. Mandy's gone for a Spanish cider with red grape. Ooh, so it's like a cider wine? A little bit, wine. actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Alex has gone for a cloudy um, IPA. Okay? Yeah, the strongest IPA they had. And, uh, <laughs> I think I know where the van is. What are we talking strong wine? I strong think it's like, it's like 7.2. Oh, oh I must try harder. That's, that's the strongest they had. So after coming out from our uh, little brewery for pint number four, what a lovely view. Bit of all right, this uh, Helsinki pub crawl business, isn't it? I know, I don't mind it. You all right, Coops? Pub crawl? Good enough? Well, we found the bridge that takes us to the little island we parked on. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Quite calm as well, considering we're in the city centre of Stockholm. Nope. Helsinki. Helsinki. Totally different country, babe. <laughs> <laughs> John, edit this later and put some voice over. So, today is a significant day. It is. A bit sad, actually. Well, we'll be back. Mm. Uh, today we leave Scandinavia. Yes. But, at the same time, we go to Estonia. Yes, new country number billion. Uh, this will be country number nine. Country number nine. Number nine and ferry number two. I know it's a two hour ferry. I realised that at three o'clock this morning when I woke up and I'm just like, okay, because I think the most I've done in years and years was the half hour one in Norway. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, this is a actually out, lock the van up in the bottom, go sit in a seat that yeah. we have allocated. Yeah, um, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. John uh, was very kind enough to show me, and I mean in this in a non-Mickey taking way, um, kind enough to show me that there's a bit of a squall over the Gulf of Finland. There is a little bit of bad weather right now. So, so at least I know to expect it instead of being like, oh. So, uh, so yes, I might. Well, I'll have poo bags on me anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll I'll hopefully be prepared if I need to. Might have a poo in a bag. Have a poo in a bag, yes. <laughs> it's my favourite thing to do on ferries, don't you know? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right, let's um, get everything squared off, take Coop for a walk. I'll go and empty the bins. And our ferry is booked for about uh, two hours away, about half an hour drive. And then we've got to be there a little bit more to check in and stuff like that. Yeah, so. they want you there a, an hour at the latest. I think boarding ends 60 minutes before your time. So we have to make sure that we're in and on and seated and shitting myself before um i can do that i'm allowed to say that because there was actually a thing on one of the last videos where people said that that word's okay right <laughs> let's go hey mr 
Cooper's very, very ready. Uh, the only downside is apparently um, he can't come on the ferry with us. He's either got to go in a kennel or we're going to leave him in the van. And I think most people would know um, your pet is probably going to be more comfortable in somewhere where it knows than being shoved in a kennel in a ship's hold somewhere. So we're going to leave him in the van. Yeah. We've got um, how many cameras we've got on this? We've got three cameras inside so we can watch him. Um, obviously the van's got Wi-Fi, so as long as it works and our phones work with reception, we can keep an eye on him, yeah. yeah, we can check on him as well. But he's got the beds he's used to staying on, he's um, got a water he's got he needs water and that. Needs. And the crossing's only two hours. Two hours, yeah. And that probably includes a bit of boarding time and everything else. So it's probably at the most two hours and when he's used to being left sometimes up to three or four hours. Yeah. Feel all right? No. Really? Yeah. Do you want to go below deck? Maybe. One thing I do want to say is bye oh, Scandinavia. Bye Scandinavia. It's been fantastic. We've had a brilliant time. It's been wonderful. It has, hasn't it? Really, really has. And I'm a bit sad. Yeah. We'll be back though. We will be definitely.